Hello YouTube, this is Chrono16 here. Today's date, November 1st, 2011. Uh, just got through watching the NASA uh, conference or, or uh, video live on Ustream uh, talking about YU55. Now, uh, I'll be the first to say, I, you know, I don't believe every word NASA says, but I do believe that YU55 isn't going to hit us. I've said that from day one. I said that there's always a possibility that something could knock it off of... of, of of its course and it possibly could is but uh, YU-55 is not going to hit us guys and as we look at the eyes on the solar system program that I've told you about in other videos uh, this is a live view today of uh, Earth uh, as I kind of zoom in here at the present uh, time here you can see Earth there uh, live view for right now and as I zoom out here you can see that um, way out here is YU-55 that's coming in. By the way, there are other people on YouTube making videos talking about uh, the nephews and twins are coming in and there's something chasing Earth and Elenin is not... Uh, Elenin, what's left of Elenin is right here as you can see highlighted on the screen. It's out to the right of Earth from Stereo 1, or Stereo A, excuse me. Uh, so, you know, when you, if you hear people out there saying Ellen is to the left and, and, or excuse me, out to the right and coming in, they're wrong. Ellen is out to the left of the earth from Stereo A, not the right, excuse me, the left, and it's heading out from earth over here. So that's what's left of Ellen. It's nothing but dust. There's no, Ellen is not affecting anything at all because there's nothing left of Ellen hardly. The only thing that's coming in that's an asteroid or anything of that nature towards Earth is 2005 YU-55. You can see it right here to the right, looking from the direction of Stereo A. Here's the Earth here, as you can see in the center, center of the screen, and YU-55 out to the right. That's the only thing that's coming in, guys. There's no two twins coming in. Uh, just like NASA stated on their video today, that will be on that same website uh, archived, so you can watch yourself. Uh, YU-55 didn't change size. It's the same size it was that they said it was. It didn't, hadn't gotten any bigger. It, it, I mean, you know, people out there making videos claiming that YU-55 got bigger and that we should be all concerned about it and all this. It's, it's just total bull, okay? And then when you try to post the truth on these certain people's um, channels explaining to them that YU-55 didn't get any bigger, they block you from their channel. Okay, and I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to start making any name calling here. But, you know, these people out here making videos talking about two, the two twins are coming in and we need to watch out for them and that uh, YU-55 got bigger and all this stuff. They're, they're full of crap. They're just trying to generate traffic to the websites so they can make money. Okay, they don't really care about how getting any truth out there. They're just trying to generate traffic to the websites because that's that's their whole that's their whole thing they want to do is generate traffic to the websites now we all want people to watch our videos here on YouTube but I'm not gonna sit here on this channel and make up stuff and tell you why you 55 is getting bigger and and that uh, NASA's lied about it and that it's gonna hit the moon uh, on uh, November 9th and all this stuff it's not gonna hit the moon why you 55 is not gonna hit the earth why you 55 did not change in size none of that is true so people out there need to quit lying and blocking people off their channels talking about they're trying to create a, a community with people's uh, comments and stuff. But yet when you go against what they say in a nice manner or in any manner, they block you from the channel. So that's obviously not trying to create a community. Nevertheless, with that being said, YU-55 is still coming in towards the Earth. It will be uh, at its closest approach on November 8th and then on November 9th to the moon or whatever. And um, NASA claims that it's not going to hit us. They, they assure us it's not going to hit us at all. And uh, and they're still sticking by that. I have no reason to believe that they're lying about it. Why I don't, do not believe YU-55 will hit Earth. But uh, there will be links posted at the bottom of this video when it's done. Uh, to NASA websites, uh, to other chat sessions that they're going to be having on the 4th, I believe. They're going to be having another chat session about YU-55 where you can ask questions about it. But uh, my opinion is YU-55 is not going to hit us. Uh, it is strange that the, the governments are having drills on November 9th uh, when YU-55 is near, you know, near as close as approach to Earth. That is rather weird that they're going to have these drills and tsunami drills. 
But whatever the reason they're having them for, it has nothing to do with why you 55 at all. So I wish other people on other channels would stop lying out there and telling the lies because it's just not true uh, that all the crap that they're spreading out there. But for any latest news that I can dig up on 2005 YU55, stay tuned to this channel. I'm not going to hype anything. I'm not going to tell you that uh, we're all doomed from YU55. If you want to hear that, there's other channels out there to go to. Thanks for watching.